Well guys, we did it. We finally, after two failed attempts last year, for one for Oogie Boogie Bash, one for my birthday, we finally got a chance to see Haunted Mansion Holiday before it closes down for its major refurb and reconstruction. So, that was fun. What's up, Fly? Hello. <laughs> the sword in the stone much like Mjolnir whoever is worthy to pull out the sword nope not worthy at least I have I have Thor's hammer so at least I'm worthy there <laughs> oh man looks like we got a party or something going on up here look at the lights up there wow looks like we got a show going on right now hopefully it doesn't interfere with me getting to the Disney gallery because I'm running out of time they close at 10 and I got about half an hour here Okay, it's like being at the disco. All right. It's more like a light show. All right. Oh, the projections. Nice. We'll give you such a trick in the neck. Wow. Sympathetic vibrations and I'll be getting to materialize. They're assembling for a swinging way. No flash Whew, just in time. Hey, look at this. There were three earlier. Look, one left. I'm taking this opportunity to get it because it's about a hundred bucks. So that's coming home with me tonight. And there you have it, you guys. I actually got this at a discount, which was nice. Fifty percent off. Very cool. Part of the centennial anniversary of the Walt Disney Studios. Got their last one in the store. Honestly, I don't know if I'll be able to get this thing onto the tram. So, I'll probably have to walk back to the car. It's gonna be a long walk with both the Infinity Stones and this thing, so. I also have to get a coffee too because I am falling asleep. So I gotta get a coffee first and then head out. Whew. But we did some good stuff today. Last time I was here, they had a whole bunch of Star Wars mugs. Now it's Arendelle. Like all of these are Arendelle. Look at that. Part of the Been There series. So I guess Starbucks is now canon in Arendelle. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm getting a coffee right now, but my hands are going to be completely full. So this is going to be like a little bit of a jump cut between from here, from Starbucks, I mean, to the car. So yeah. But it's been a long day. It's been a really good day. And I hope you enjoy these vlogs. We'll wrap up at the car and head home. Ooh, she sounds sweet. <laughs> well, I made it to the Pixar Pals parking structure, but I'm at Mickey and Friends, so. <laughs> Getting a quick picture of the Luxo Ball. Whew, that's quite a walk. Also, I stopped by the trading post, the Star Wars trading post over there in downtown Disney and got a couple of other things. You'll see what they are in just a moment. Oh, we just gotta get a picture of the Mickey Ball before we head upstairs to the very top. Level mini. See ya, Mickey. I'll be back in May. Whew. All right, you guys. Well, I finally made it to the car. I'm about to wrap this vlog up, but man, it is actually starting to get cold over here. The car is covered in dew. I mean, it, look, look at, look at this. It is covered in dew. It is unbelievable. It is getting cold, and if it gets any colder, it'll actually turn into frost or ice. There have been times in the past at my place where it has gotten below freezing and the car is covered in ice. Not just the top, but also the windows, the trunk, everywhere. The entire thing looks like it's just 
iced over. It's insane. So before I head out, I'm going to show you guys what I got, and then I'm going to get the heck out of here because I'm running short on time here. So first off, we got our really cool souvenir cup from Batu for the milk stand. Honestly, this looks pretty similar to the milk stand, and it lights up as well. Yeah, there it is. It's lighting. Kind of lighting up there. Oh. There it goes. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I actually really like this. This is really neat. So I'm just going to turn that off. There we go. I'm going to put this somewhere on the display because this is pretty cool. Probably next to the other souvenir cup that I have. So that's the souvenir cup. Now, as I mentioned, I went over to the trading post and I got a couple of new Star Wars figures. Now, for some reason, I was thinking about this for a while and I was like, they never made a, star, a, a uh, what is it? I was gonna say Marvel Legends, the Black Series Star Wars figure of Jabba the Hutt, like recently. Well, guess what? <laughs> My wish came true. Here he is. So yeah, Jabba the Hutt, he's got a little area here where he has his little drink and he's got Salasius B. Crumb. Okay. But yeah, Jabba the Hutt, here he is. Just a big old slug. <laughs> I was actually watching the Star Wars Return of the Jedi movie recently, and I was like, I was going through my figures, and I'm like, wait a minute, I don't have Jabba the Hutt. I know I have one of his helpers, but not Jabba. So yeah. And last but not least, this is something that I saw advertised a while back, and I was like, I'm never gonna find this. Well, check it out. Look what I found. These are the ghost figures or four spirits of Anakin Skywalker, Yoda, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's this Anakin. I want the original, the original Anakin. But this is still cool. But yeah, there is Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi. That is pretty, pretty cool. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the, some of them, uh, a good portion of their, of their spirits are translucent and they have sparkles in their costumes. Them that sparkly look. I was actually watching a different movie not too long ago with Alec Guinness. This is the actor who plays Obi-Wan Kenobi, the original, not Hugh McGregor. He played Marley's Ghost in a Scrooge musical that was like, what, made in the 70s or 80s? One of those two. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a musical for, for Scrooge that he was in. He played Marley's Ghost. He played Jacob Marley. And I was like, that's actually pretty cool that he played that character. He's played a bunch of other characters. He was um, in um, Cromwell with the original Albus Dumbledore, who uh, uh, it was like, oh man, the, the, the movies I'm trying to think of are just, I'm blanking out because I know the titles, but I can't remember everything about it. It was called Cromwell. He played the king, and unfortunately he was in the movie. Alec Guinness. Yeah, <laughs> it's an interesting movie. And last but not least, I can't forget about this thing. Oh my God, it's heavy, but look at this. I finally got it. I've had my eye on this for over a year now since they advertised it. And I remember it being so expensive because originally this would have been like a hundred bucks. I got it for like 52, 53, because it was like 50% off. But I finally got the Walt Disney Studios water tower lamp and this is gonna really be a really cool item on my desk in the future until I get it cleared off and everything because it's a mess at the moment. This is like the last one at the Disney Gallery. I do not know if it's completely the last one, but it was the last one in their store. Again, I don't know if it was for today or forever, but there wasn't a whole lot of merchandise for the 100th anniversary now. I went into the Emporium early this morning and I saw the new merchandise. I'm like, uh-oh, I must have missed my opportunity, but I was like, you know, since this was a unique item, I'm like thinking the Disney Gallery has like a whole bunch of like paintings and statues and all that. In fact, that's where I got a couple of items from uh, for my Disney display, like the oh no, the rocket ro the um, the rocket to the moon. I actually got that at the the um, World of Disney store, but mm -hmm. I got a bunch of the keys over there at the Disney Gallery. And I'm like going, I remember the statues being there as well. So I just it was a shot in the dark and. Lo and behold, they had three of these left, and I was like, oh, please, please let there be one left before I left, before I leave Disney, and guess what? Answer to my prayer right there. I finally have it in my possession. I drive by this all the time when I'm going to Disney, by the Walt Disney Studios, 
I can't really see it from Universal Studios. I can see the Warner Brothers water tower, but not Disney's. But yeah, uh, <laughs> to have this on display on my desk will be such a cool item. As you all know, I have a little bit of history with the Walt Disney Studios because of my connection with Disney Plus. Yes, it only lasted for like a month and a half, maybe two months, but yeah, I was a part of Disney history and this is pretty cool. All right guys, well, I gotta go. Thank you so much for watching the vlogs. I hope you enjoyed them. If you like them, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Like I mentioned in my road trip vlog, I'm probably gonna be focusing more on Knott's Berry Farm. So probably like say maybe March, I'll be heading up to Knott's to just have a little bit of fun there. And then in a couple months from now, or after that, in May, I'll be returning for the Season of the Force and Pixar Fest. And I'm really, really looking forward to those because I'm actually excited about the Pixar and Season of the Force. The return of the Season of the Force. And I remember that from years ago and from also Disney Launch Bay and all that. So it's going to be a fun time. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time here on the Disneyland Video Series. And as Obi-Wan Kenobi would say, remember the Force will be with you. Always. <laughs> uh, I got a long drive home. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and click the bell icon to be notified of when a new video will be going live. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Disneyland fun. To stay connected, follow me on Instagram at Sean Allen Films and follow my other channels the educational series, the vlog series, and the Travel Town series. As always, thanks for watching.